Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 2, Episode 5, Loud as a Whisper. Um, I would say this is probably one of my favorite episodes, probably at least in my top 10. And it's it's a very important episode to me, personally. Um, so growing up, my dad was a Trekkie. He's the one that kind of got me into Star Trek. But this is the one episode that my mom really, really liked, and it was important to her. I remember watching it with her, and then watching her start crying, watching it. Um, because deafness is kind of runs in my family, especially on my mom's side. Um, a lot of them were hard of hearing. So at a young age, I was taught sign language and then growing up, I went to classes for it. Um, I'm by no means an expert, but, um, and slowly over time I've used it less and less. So at this point, I I'd almost say I don't even remember it anymore. Um, it's kind of like riding a bike. I need to get back into it. Um, so this episode, it has um, Howie Siego, I think is how you say his name, um, who is a deaf actor, and he plays um, like a mediator, and he has a chorus, as he calls it, and it's three different people, and they interpret for him. And he goes to a faction to mediate between these two people that are having a civil war, and his chorus ends up getting killed. And now, without anybody to interpret for him, he has to figure out how to still uh, do his job, how to bring these people together. Um, and it's, it's a very heartbreaking episode and it's a very interesting episode. Um, part of the thing for me was I was watching it and like I said, I'm super rusty, but I could still pick up on a lot of the signs. And it was kind of interesting that he, Data ends up uh, interpreting and Data's interpretations are wrong and how wrong they are, um, or how ahead of, um, the actor they would be like data would say like my friends are dead but he wouldn't do the sign for dead until later um so it's just kind of interesting how like inaccurate the script was for that which i feel like they could have done a better job but overall like that aside for most of the target audience who don't know sign language um i thought this episode did a really really good job of just kind of bringing awareness and not forcing people into acceptance how they turn is it's because a lot of people who are deaf don't like the term disability because it's not and they they turn a disadvantage into an advantage which is the whole premise of the show and they say that over and over again um so i i really commend this episode i think they did a really really good job um also random trivia fact his his chorus it's two men and a woman that woman harmony is um john delancey's wife uh she hasn't done a lot of acting i actually had to look it up um but i thought that was kind of cool um, but yeah, I, I felt like this job, this episode did a really, really good job for um, just kind of bringing that awareness to the community. Um, and it's, it's a community that gets overlooked quite a bit, and especially in film and television. So I thought this, this episode did a really good job, and I really like it. Um, for those who have seen it, um, what did you guys think? For those that uh, are deaf or have hard of hearing issues or no sign language, um, if you haven't seen this episode, I highly recommend it, and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the sign. And for those who have seen it, uh, go ahead and let me know, let me know how you felt about the accuracy. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you guys for the likes, the subscriptions, all of that, and I will see you guys next time for Schizoid Man.